It seems like yesterday that I was walking in this alley talking about the state of the Canadian Senate. But in fact, it was many months ago. And Canada, Canada was a far more innocent place back then. Back then, we were finding out that Senator Mike Duffy, Stephen Harper's favorite fundraiser, did not in fact live on PEI. The RCMP investigated. Turns out his official residence is somewhere in the Prime Minister's lower colon. But who could have guessed? Who could have guessed that once we pulled on that thread, that the Prime Minister's universe could unravel so much. Senator Pam Wallen, another favorite. Turns out she's been spending so much time billing taxpayers for personal airline travel. Not only is she not officially a resident of Saskatchewan, she is not technically a resident of Earth. The Prime Minister's Chief of Staff resigns in disgrace. The Prime Minister's former Parliamentary Secretary, Dean Del Mastro, charged with election fraud. Patrick Brazo, Carolyn Stewart Olson. The alley is not long enough to keep going. But I was thinking, the Prime Minister appointed every one of these people. It should be statistically impossible to appoint that many train wrecks. Serious question. Has anyone checked the Prime Minister's office for lead pipes? Because it's like everyone close to that man has brain damage. Their moral compass has been destroyed. I'm mostly worried that it could be contagious. Because if it is airborne, we're in serious trouble. Can you imagine if regular citizens started acting like these people? All hell would break loose. Suddenly, people would start stealing from their employers and their churches, and, and, th and they would become convinced that the normal rules did not apply to them. Red lights and green lights would be meaningless. Normally, when a group of people start to exhibit bizarre symptoms in a cluster, health officials are called in. So never mind the RCMP. It's time for a quarantine.